Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It's the Almighty Jeff, and I'm here with episode five of Red Dead Redemption. In the previous episode, we I can't remember. We did the mission Wild Horses Tame Passions. We finished up a few levels of our challenges. Um. Lost me. And we did um we did a few levels of California as well. Um, amongst other stuff, ah, mine's gone blank. Anyway, as you can see, we got the gold medal for Wild Horses Tame Passions. It did take me a while, but I eventually got there. Anyway, as you can as you can see on our map, I am down in Gap Tooth Reach, just north of Tumbleweed, and this is the third part of the. California Quest. So let's go ahead and start that up. My old pal. Sam, we meet again. How you doing out here? Why the shout? Why the dancing? Why the laughter? I, I hope I, I die laughing. I do. You keep this up, and you just might. My, my my grandfather was was a wise man who came from the east. He, he, he followed a followed a star. That, that's still me. I'm still following. I'm still dreaming. Still free? <laughs> you can't. You can't cage us. We are above. We, we we are above, and 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 we're free. Sam, you really need to come into town with me. You're not doing so well out no, here. No, no, no. See, I was careless, sir. I I understand that now. But I I I will. I will find me my paradise. I will head west. I will. Come on, Sam. You probably just need a drink. You, you stay whoa, away whoa. from me. You whoa. stay away. I will find me, my California. I, I, I will. Not a... So, that's part three of four. Yeah. Not bad. Anyway, we're going to head to Ridgewood Farm. And hopefully we can get the horse breaking activity to come up. Which should have been unlocked now. Because we finished Wild Horse Team Passions, yeah. so don't see what it should be. Come on. Again, I've got quite a bit planned for today, guys. Um, we are going to be doing the final mission for now for Bonnie. Um, I'm going to start to go up with the new. Stranger session. Oh, there we go, final. Right, let's do it. This is the second job in New Austin. Uh, we did the first one, which is the night watching, but uh, at um, but found one. Looks as wild as a hornet in the bed. Good luck to you, son. He's a wild one, and no mistake. Come on, buddy. Got you. Don't move! You'll be fine! Just... Uh, now don't take dude, off now! Dude, dude! Do we have, have to lasso it? Or do we just have to jump on? You son of a bitch! So, I did lasso it. Relax now! Easy. It's still moving. What are you doing? All right, man, to shoot you in the head, bro. Just calm yourself. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby, calm down. Chill your ass. Chill your goddamn ass, hoss. Whoa! Relax now. You're mine now. To the barn. Mighty impressive. 
Impressive, sir. Good job. Oh, thank you. Sorry, Mister. Six dollars, seventy dollars. Very nice. Where's my house? Get over here. Alright, so we are next going to head up to Rothskeller Fork, which we've never actually been. It's just up here. On, we're going to be collecting a... Well, we're going to be filling in a few scraps for the Treasure Hunter outfit. Um, that's an update for the Wharton's gang. We'll just have a look. Job in Ridgewood Farm. Yeah, we don't seem to have discovered it yet. But um, for the treasure hunter outfit, we can get three within this episode. Um, first one being to make a profit out of a game of blackjack at the Rascal of Fark, which we're going to do now. Then it's collecting this scrap from. Silent Steed, which we'll then get straight afterwards, and then to finish off the California quest line, which we'll be doing immediately after that. So we should make quite a bit of progress with that outfit. Here we are. Alright, so we can play now. I don't know why it took so long. Whatever, let's, let's do this. A certain marshal around these parts has been seen beating women folk. Why the hell not? Let's go ahead. Marshall All we have to do is make it's like even the teeniest profit. Right, okay, I don't care. Um show this bit too. Right. Let's see. Right. What have I got? Um, my cards. Queen and a king. That's from Spalding. Twenty, Still right? Hasn't Both worth ten, aren't they? Um. I'll stand. I'll stand. Yeah, that's twenty. That's unfortunate. There we go. I'll make sure Easy is that. Just have to win some chips, and it should come up now. Yeah. How freaking easy was that? So that should now come up in our thing. Hang on. Yep. So we're going to do the first three scraps this episode for this. Now, the first scrap is, well this is Silent Steed just down this hill. It's another one of those collectible scraps like we got at Thieves London for the Bollard Twins. So I'll seeing as we're right in the area, may as well just immediately go and pick that up. And then we'll immediately go ahead and Come on. deal with our next um, stranger. So let's just quickly go ahead and pop in here, and there it is. Simple as it's just a little roadside shack. Come on. And then finally, I want to head down here to the final. Now it should normally take be so quickly to spawn, but I had to. to reload my auto save, which caused it to load up. And hopefully whilst we're travelling through Tumbleweed we should start the gang hide out. Is it going to? This 
what I was going to do um, immediately afterwards anyway, so... Just won't get the message. Could sure use a hand clearing them out. Come on, the whole place is still chock full of sons of bitches. We're professional peacekeepers, son. You're in for some trouble. Sheriff, what do you got? I sure appreciate all the help, partner. It won't be forgotten. I promise you that. Don't worry about it, bro. Let's have a second gang hide up. Tumbleweed. Very nice indeed. It's $19. Because we're gonna make more money by looting all these sons of bitches. Just snag some of this, thank you. Again, um, if you didn't manage to shoot any vultures. I mean, you don't even really need to, it's just if you're going for Platinum and you need the, and we're doing the Unnatural Selection Trophy where you've got to kill one of pretty much every animal, Go. not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, Vulture does count towards it and they can be quite rare, um, but they always appear after Gankai Dots. Right, so, oh dear. Oh, and on this occasion as well. If you want one, they can be found on Sam's body. Sam, and almost the end of the California quest. The last thing we need to do to finish this off is take the letter that we found on Sam back to Armadillo. So let's quickly return that, and I'll see you when we get there. Alright guys, here we are, we've just pulled into Armadillo. So let's head in here and deliver this letter.
clone drone. We're gonna do anything? There we go. Our very honorable boys. Alright, now before we leave, I am just going to quickly have a oh wait no, there's a newspaper. And we're gonna be collecting all the newspapers in the game. Um Excuse me. Buy one of those, bro. Take my dollar. We need some gang room terror. Bloody bloody blah. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna go to the general store first because they should have a couple of things. Hello, sir. Um, my products are of the finest quality. Take Anything else costume, I can do for you? Get to the ridge. Um, Just show me what you got. You can also leave the antlers, the skin, Fine choice. all these pelts. There's um, a thing we can set. I think unlike the herbs, you can actually just sell all these. So this should and there's quite a bit of dosh. Yeah, we the pretty campsite too. So Good. That was quite a nice here. spend. Please come again. So what these maps do is the um, allow you to discover everything in the areas that it says, and this is actually a requirement for 100%. Um, not to buy the maps, but to discover everything. So we might as well use what the game gives us. And I'm just going to do another quick pop into the Watch yourself, the American way. Howdy, friend. Here you go. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? Uh, yeah, I can't afford any of those. No worries, we have time. Plenty of time. So, if we have a look at our map, you can see all these areas around now on our map, like places we've never been, such as Benedict Point, Solomon's Folly. It's all on our map now because we got the Gapsooth Ridge map and we also got the Chola Springs map as well, so we got. Um, like Rattlesnake Hollow, Pleasant House, places we've never been to before, but they're all discovered. Anyway, I'm going to quickly pop back to McFarlane's Ranch. We'll do the <coughs> um, Bonnie mission here. So I'll see you when we get there. Alright, here we are. So I'm going to start up the mission A Tempest Looms, I think it's called. Yeah. So, what the cutscene? Most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So, what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Right. Let's get going before the weather gets any worse. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path but me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Pastors who we are, Mr. Farland. 
There ain't no change in that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close. We don't want to lose each other. Whoa there. Alright, I can see you. Doing. 
You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Mr. McFarland. God damn, oh, they were terrible at their job. Let's go. So we single-handedly saved their ranch pretty much. A look at our stats. They did pretty good. So I'll sort that out next time. Let's sleep and wait for this storm to blow over. It's gonna blow over. Jeez, what is with this storm? It's still going. I am going to leave it for today guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, just like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode, bye guys.